Philadelphia DA Larry Krasner has expanded the Conviction Integrity Unit, which investigates persistent claims of innocence by convicted criminals. One such investigation has led to the release of Jamal Simmons, who was serving time for murder. Action News reporter Maggie Kent talked to Simmons tonight and is now live outside the DA's office. Maggie, tell us about the Jamal Simmons case and what you learned tonight. Well, we were able to speak with him tonight. Jim Jamal Simmons was in jail for nearly 10 years. He says he looks forward to restarting his life, and he gives a lot of credit to the district attorney and the judge who took another listen to his case. Jamal Simmons was freed from prison about six weeks ago after his murder conviction was overturned. He now works at his brother's screen printing shop. Everything seemed like it was moving kind of fast when I first came out, but it's starting to slow down again for me. Simmons was implicated in the murder of Rodney Barnes at 24th and Norris in July of 2009. He says his conviction was based on a witness statement, which was coerced by detectives. The first day that he was, he was detained, he told them he didn't know nothing about what happened, and they just basically kept him there for more than 24 hours. He said he wasn't fed. He said he it was just the horrible conditions he was in. He, didn't, he was deprived of sleep, and eventually they made him sign a, a statement and identified me for the crime. After hiring multiple lawyers and submitting three failed appeals, Simmons filed for post-conviction relief and a petition with DA Larry Krasner's Conviction Integrity Unit. It investigates claims of innocence. The Integrity Unit, they actually sent out investigators to talk to the witnesses on my case to, to see if it added up and and they said they believed that I was innocent after they did their, their own investigation. Soon after, Simmons says he was a free man. And he tells me that he looks forward to spending more time with his daughter. He was gone for nearly 10 years. She just turned 12.